but he gets to the bronze medal match and he wins the bronze medal here at the South Point Hotel and Casino where Crispin Duenas of Canada, Carl Arkey of the United States here on hand and hope you're enjoying our live shot by shot coverage here on Archery TV as Brady Ellison just kind of ambles on out. <laughs> To well, the floor just, of this arena. I just want to say thank you to all of the people tuning in on YouTube and Archery TV to see these finals. Oh, so Brady Ellison, all of these archers competing. Brady's going to have his hands full with this young man, Alexander Kojin of the Russian Federation, who's had really an outstanding season indoors. He went up against uh, Meloto of Italy and got to a uh, shoot off at one of the stages before finally losing there, but it was very tense. Albina Laginova in the crowd here tonight. <laughs> uh, that's not a bad coach to have. Uh, she's a multiple world medalist, and Brady's got a pretty good coach too. I mean, Mel Nichols, he's one of the guys that I know who knows archery inside and out. Both it's not his first rodeo, no. Tuning and, no. and probably not actually his first rodeo. They're pretty sure they've been to actual rodeos. <laughs> And Mr. Kojin, interestingly enough, is the first and only recurve archer I'm seeing out here with fat arrows. Everybody else has been shooting the long distance thin arrows, Easton, Easton X10 arrows. Brady bangs it home on his first shot. That's a solid shot from Brady. Very good shot. Surprisingly, the crowd is really quiet. Kojin's shots both low, still catching the line because he's got those nice fat arrows to get that. Brady is definitely solidly shooting tens. Nice round of applause from this huge crowd here at South Point. As Kojin. That's very unfortunate for Mr. Kojin. Hands that first set to Brady Ellison, who takes a 2 nothing lead. Kojin, by the way, we were talking about his earlier success. It was actually last month in Nîmes, where he went up against Luca Meloto of Italy, and it went to the tiebreaker, where Meloto was able to come away with the victory, but Kojin was right there. It was 5-5 five, five after 5, and then <laughs> it goes to the tiebreaker, where anything can happen. Yeah, and it's uh, indoor archery is definitely a different beast than outdoor archery because you don't really have those elements like I said before. So it shows who really is the mentally strong archer when they're shooting and not having any effects uh, just deterring them from shooting a 10. Brady Ellison defeated Thomas Antoine of France in the 1-8th round. Was a 7 3 winner over Cedric Rieger of Germany in the quarterfinals and defeated Ye Dong Hun of Korea in the semifinals to get to this gold medal match. So, Brady Ellison, who came in number one after three stages, ranked number one in men's recurve after three stages and was terrific in qualifying. Of course, Alexander Kojin was ranked fifth after the first three stages on the Indoor World Cup Tour. That's on the line and definitely caught the line, but Mr. Kojin has shot everything low this whole match. Right down the middle. There's his first high arrow, still on the line, but it's in. And Brady Ellison matches that 10. So far, 10's across the board here in the second set. 
But it's Brady Ellison leading in the match. Early on, 2-0. There you can see that fat arrow. <laughs> Still on the line, but definitely in. But Brady's had five arrows inside out, not needing any line calls. That's another one. Beautifully done. Tearing up that target. Both of those archers really putting on a show in that second set. So they split the set. And the lead goes to three to one in favor of Brady Ellison of the United States as he bids for the gold medal here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Alexander Kojin got a 6-2 win in the 1-8th round, then defeated Luis Alvarez of Mexico 6-5 in the quarterfinals. That went to a shoot-off, obviously, and his 10 was better than Alvarez's 10. I, then, hate, I hate losing like that. Oh, it, it, it's got to just rip your heart out, doesn't it? <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> Sorry I brought that up. <laughs> no, it's all right. And then it was Kojin defeating Kim Juan of Korea 6-2 to two in the semifinals to reach this gold medal match against Brady Ellison of the United States. 3-1's your score right now. Brady Ellison going for the gold medal here. And as we look back on the indoor season, Brady in Bangkok broke out there, won the gold medal as he defeated Ojin Yuk of Korea, 6-2 to two in Thailand. That's a better shot from Mr. Kojin. Brady Ellison focusing in on that center ring, 18 meters downstream. Ten points. Finds it. I think Brady's just putting on a show for everybody right now. And it's an appreciative crowd here in Las Vegas. Very respectful. Stands are packed on a Saturday night at South Point. Oh, just out. And the first time that Brady Ellison flinches. And it comes here in the third set. After scoring tens on his first seven shots, puts up a nine. Kojin can put the set away, and he does, as that's three straight tens for the young man from the Russian Federation who's about to pick up two set points. Tough to tell. It's a nine on the line, that's what they're calling it, but Brady's last two shots a little low. Uh, I mean, a low shot for a recurve archer just kind of means that you're just a little tentative off that string. Um, it could have been, it could have meant that you dropped your bow arm or you had a little bit of a regular pressure on your bow hand. It could have been a combination of anything, but Brady's such a consistent shooter that sometimes it's hard for me to tell what it, what it was when uh, Brady makes that shot because I know how confident he is in his shooting and how much I've seen him shoot. He's just a very, very good shooter. Well, the complexion of this match has changed a little bit. Brady Ellison got off to a two nothing lead, then went up three to one as they split the second set. And there in the third set, it's Alexander Kuzhin of the Russian Federation winning the set, taking the two points, and pulling into a three-all tie now with Brady Ellison. So anybody's match at this point as these two fight it out for the gold medal. Brady was rolling along his first seven shots right in the center ring and a couple of nines to finish off the third set. Let's see if he can adjust and get back into the middle, and he does. Eight. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> George chides the crowd. Tough crowd. Yeah. Brady has a ten. <laughs> I really, I really hope the, <laughs> the Russians understood what was going on there. Well, I'm sure he felt the same way. Yeah. Uh, not much you can do in that point. You can just laugh mm. it off. That's right. really all you can That's do. That's probably the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, it's comfortable shooting now for Brady. He can shoot a nine and still win this set. Nine for Brady. And that's exactly what he will do. Set will go to Brady Ellison. A 10 here will only give Kojin 28 points. He'll come up one point short. 
of taking this set. So he recovers from the eight, but that eight was really costly for him, Crispin. Yeah, and again, it's out to the left. For a recurve archer, that just means that your release was not as clean and straight back towards your ear as much as it should have been. It probably came horizontally away from his face, which is what every nervous recurve archer does. And that's the price you pay. And unfortunately, with a big fat arrow like that, it's a little bit slower, so it gets more affected by what you do. It's not as quick and clean of a release out of your fingers as uh, a small, skinny, light arrow would be. And that's what happens, unfortunately. But again, it's set play, so Mr. Kojin could win this next set, bring it to a tie break, and it would be closest to the center for both archers. We're gonna see what happens in the next three arrows. So all is not lost for the young man from the Russian Federation who has Elvina Laganova in his coach's box behind him. There you see the release by Brady Ellison who is poised to win the gold medal, but he's got to get the job done with these next three shots. Nothing can be taken for granted. Kojin showed that with his performance in the third set where he reeled off three straight tens. He's trying to do it again. Unfortunately for Kojin, a tie here would also give Brady the match. All Brady needs is one more point to get to that magic number of six. Beautifully done by Brady Ellison. Ten. Kojin taking care of his own business. Needs a break. But I don't think Brady Ellison's inclined to give him Ten. that break. Not no. after seeing that shot. What could be the final shot of this match for Alexander Kojin? Eight. That is likely very will. unfortunate for Kojin. That's not going to be happy with that. Still looks happy though. I think he's uh, he's happy with his performance out here because it's very, very big pressure. And that's enough for Brady Ellison. Nine's enough. Nine is enough for Brady Ellison to win the gold medal. And what a way to complete the Indoor World Cup Tour for Brady Ellison with a gold medal here. As we mentioned before, Brady won the gold medal back in December in Bangkok at stage two. Then he went to Nîmes in January where he picked up the bronze medal with a 7-1 win over Rick Vandenover of the Netherlands. And here in Las Vegas, he defeats Alexander Kojin by the score of 7-3. Crispin Duenas, it has been a pleasure as always, my friend. Thank you. I believe you got a compound expert coming in for you right now, but it has been a pleasure. Always love working with you. I love working with you too. Crispin, thank you so much. Crispin Duenas of Canada, the great Canadian Olympian in recurve archery, a man who also won a bronze medal at the World Championships in Belek, Turkey, just a couple of years ago.